verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is the second part of the verse from yesterday, which was from Hebrews 11, verse 16. And it says this, it says, he has prepared a city for them. So let's go back to yesterday. First of all, it says, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. And then the next bit of the verse says, therefore God is not ashamed to be called the God, for he has prepared a city for them. Who were these people? Well, as we said yesterday, they were the faithful people of old, people that followed God of old in the in the Old Testament as we have it today. And they wanted a better country, one that was placed because of the, the fallen nature of our world that we live in. And there's lots of things that go wrong in our world. These people were, were, were giants of faith, if you like, that wanted to go to a better place, a heavenly place, a better country. And God was going to prepare a city for them, is what it tells us here in Hebrew. Can you just imagine, as a faithful servant of God, a faithful servant, that a whole city is prepared for you? Whoa, that's huge. But that's how much God loves us. And as it says, therefore God is not ashamed to be called her God. So that means then God delights in us saying, God, you're my God. He delights in that. And he has prepared a city for them. And he has prepared things for us in advance, waiting for us in the heavenly realms. And Jesus, when he was on earth, he just scratched the surface of what that might look like in the way that he spoke about the kingdom of heaven, what heaven is like. So are we going to get a city prepared for us when we get to heaven? One day we'll find out.